and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 299. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and today I will be doing this show solo. So, without further ado, let's hop into it. So, in today's news, Google Assistant's favorite pony is Spike the Dragon. Hmm, that's interesting. So, with Cortana wanting to be 20% cooler in this year's New Year's resolution, it was only a matter of time before someone discovered another one of our modern day voice tech bot has a few pony easter eggs. If you are using an Android device, Google Assistant should be installed. Asking it who's your favorite My Little Pony comes up with Spike as the winner. Oddly enough, if you just ask who's your favorite pony, she say all of them. Hmm. So Google Assist can't really decide which one she likes. Alrighty then, alrighty then. But if you guys check out in the uh, links below or in the show notes, you'll get to see the whole conversation happening. And the next news is My Little Pony movie confirmed for China on February 2nd. So with Box office result largely complete over the various tracking websites for it. The My Little Pony movie apparently has another big market to conquer. China has announced an official release date for the movie set for February 2nd. As for how much this will move the needle on its overall profitability, only time will tell. And honestly, my prediction for this one is it's going to be... Uh, wowza. For some of you may not know, China has, well, I won't say a stranglehold on the movie market, but it plays a big influence in some of the movies that quote-unquote profitable. Um, from what I understand, some of the Michael Bay Transformers movie were quite popular in China. The World of Warcraft movie was also popular there too. And another fact to add on to this is that from what I understand, the China bronies are really hardcore. Way back when, in 2017, they held their own local brony convention and they invited Vincent Tong and the VA4 Starlight Glimmer. So that's really amazing for them to call those two there. Uh, for them being their first convention, getting two uh, VAs on board. That's really cool. I do hope that I do hope that the My Little Pony movie does well in China, and I do hope they enjoy the movie. If you guys want to know what I think about the movie, uh, my thoughts on it are already available on the YouTube's Silver, James, and myself reviewed it a while back, and well, we highly enjoyed it. I think. It's been a while. I don't really remember. All I know is messing people's names up. But it's there for you to check it out. Also, if you want to watch the movie again, it's available on Blu-ray and DVD. So head at it. And with that, that's the news for this week. I know it's a short news before the inaugural episode 300. And in all honesty, I got no idea what to do. It's been so long. Like, from the first few episodes that this was created, like, hitting that 300 episodes, like, wow, I, I would have never thought that I would see the day that this humble show would hit 300 episodes. And honestly, I got no idea what to do. The past few episodes or the past few numbers, I remember, we had special guests. Um, I think episode 100, we got Amy Keating Rogers. What did we do for episode 200? I don't remember. See, it's been a while. I don't think we had anything special for 200. I think it was just a normal episode, something like that. I don't really remember. I don't really remember. But hey, episode 300 is next week, if everything goes to plan. And you'll get more content out of it. I, I don't know. I I'll plan something, and I'll make sure it's awesome. Not like this week's episode. I'm sorry about that one. This week, it's been very slow on the news front. I've tried to scrunch up some things to make it work, but it didn't. <laughs> and so let's hit on to the next topic, my favorite. What have we been doing with our week? So this week has been nothing special. Honestly, um, I 
think the most memorable one is that I went to one of the largest mall in my province, which is Johor Bahru, and the mall is called Paragai Mall. And in said mall, they had Wendy's. So I got to taste the Tsundare burger, <laughs> uh, which is the, what they call it, um, beefinator, meatinator, or something like that. So I had that, and it was okay. Nothing special. It was nothing wowy, as they say. It was nice. It was okay. But other than that, it's, I don't mind trying others. Like I saw the mushroom melting, so I won't mind trying that one for the future. And uh, went around, see the mall. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. But nothing too wowsies. And a few days after, I went to my friend's game store and I bought myself a game. And said game is Sonic Forces. It was on sale, so I decided to pick it up. And what do I have to say about Sonic Forces? Well, it's a fun game. Um, I just played a few hours of it and it's nothing to rave about it's it's just fun it's casual fun where you just play the creator character is i won't say to the extent of saints row where you can change the facial features hair color no you can't do that but the facial features and the body proportions in sonic forces is not to the extent of saints row 3 and 4 but it was still a fun game nonetheless what i find annoying is those red ring stars Uh, from what i understand if you collect all of them they'll grant you more unlockables for costume and whatnot And hey, it's something to do when you're playing the game. From what I understand, the game is short or it's not that long. But it's fun. Like right now, I'm having fun with it. Probably by episode 300, if I do get to talk about it a bit more, I'll say that probably my opinion would change. I'm not sure if for the better or for worse. But other than that, um, what else? Uh, Honestly, nothing. Um, I've done... Nothing to top what I've done before. Who knows, maybe next week I'll get to do something. So anywho, that's the news and show for this week. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our newest endeavor, the NBA Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you get myself, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and probably Guest of the Week, reviewing... The My Little Pony episodes, comics, and movies. This includes some of the uh, straight-to-television movie, like the Quest Girls and whatnot. And yeah, you get to hear our thoughts on those things. And also you get to hear things that are not pony-related. Sometimes it could be a discussion about the show in terms of its characters and whatnot. Or sometimes you get to hear us talk about movies, like Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I really love that review. If you have the time, go check it out because <laughs> it's stupid fun. Um, Another thing that we want to do is the movies that we watch of 2000 and X. Coming soon, we'll talk about the movies of 2017. As of 2017, I think I've watched like 22 movies. Wow, that is a lot. So yeah, um, last year I watched 22 movies and yeah. okay let me just give you a hint of what i watched so as of 2017 so some of the bombs that i watched was resident evil the final chapter um another one was transformers the last night and were there any bad ones no no now that i can see and a surprising one that I've watched was 
Bleeding Steel, and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Those are pretty good. Those are surprisingly good. So anyway, those are some of my movies that I watched of 2017. So do stick around the channel to find out my full list. That was like 5 reveal out of the 22. So there's a few more to go. But anywho, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Intricatorious, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Mark, and also Charles. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You guys have been really, really great to me. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week for the 300th episode. See ya!